And the sermon title this morning is Lessons from the Last Days, Lessons from His Last Days. And um, just in that text in Matthew chapter 28, looking at uh, the resurrection of our Lord, and this is Resurrection Sunday, and so we come together to celebrate the risen Lord. You know, Muhammad is in a tomb. He's in a grave. Buddha is in a grave. The Lord Jesus Christ lives and reigns. And we worship him this morning in light of that glorious truth. That's Christianity. It's the focus of our worship, the Lord Jesus Christ, the risen Lord, the reigning Lord. And as I thought about this week, celebrating the resurrection, recognizing and remembering the Lord Jesus Christ uh, for that wondrous miracle, uh, I got to thinking about sort of taking a walk, if you will, through the scriptures, looking at lessons that we can glean from his last days on earth as he walked toward Jerusalem, walked toward Calvary, and went to his crucifixion, to his death for sinners. And I got to thinking about it with this morning. We celebrate the Lord's Supper together. And that Lord's Supper, if you remember from Scripture, was instituted by the Lord in Matthew chapter 26. If you'll turn back just a couple of pages. Matthew chapter 26. And the Lord Jesus Christ institutes the Lord's Supper at what is typically called the Last Supper, the last time where the Lord Jesus Christ met with his disciples. It was a Thursday, a Thursday evening, and this would be the last time that Jesus would spend time with his dis disciples before he was risen from the dead, before his resurrection, uh, and then before his ascension. So in Matthew 26, it begins in verse 26, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say to you, I'll not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. So the Lord's Supper, instituted by Jesus Christ, Matthew chapter 26. The Lord's Supper came at a time on that Thursday when in the city of Jerusalem they were celebrating Passover. Uh, Passover was a feast, a feast day intended to celebrate God's deliverance of his people from Egypt, from bondage in Egypt. And the Passover itself, that feast, was instituted to commemorate or to symbolize, to remember God sending the angel of death as the 10th plague on Pharaoh and the Egyptians, right? Where the angel of death would sweep through Egypt, killing all the firstborn of the sons of the, the people, the firstborn, firstborn of all the animals. And so the Lord told his people to take a sacrificial lamb. You shed the blood of that lamb and you spread the blood on the doorpost.